Good morning, everyone. Can you guys hear me at the back? All right, checking. Awesome. Good morning. Uh, my name is Anshul Sharma, and I'm here with my colleague and co-presenter, Chris Blackburn, representing Astera Labs. Our session today is going to cover an overall company portfolio update alongside our vision for AI infrastructure 2.0 and a special section on retimers being implemented in mod modular server architectures. With that, let's get started. All right, so our mission at Astera Labs is very simple yet profound. To unleash the full potential of AI through purpose-built rack-scale connectivity solutions. We're not just building any general purpose networking gear that happens to work with AI. We are building products from the ground up that are intelligent and are holistic to service AI applications. So what do I mean when I say intelligent connectivity platforms? Let's take a look. At the foundation of it all is our connectivity ICs, boards, and modules. We service products that are signal conditioners, including retimers and gearboxes to I.O. chiplets that go inside XPUs, to controllers that service different types of protocols, and now AI fabric devices that are just getting bigger and bigger to address the growing back-end bottlenecks for AI scale-up clustering. We service these products in the form of ICs as well as boards, so our ecosystem partners can get a quicker time to market. And then we also have smart cable modules where our signal conditioning products go inside them, and then we enable them through active electrical cabling for within the rack and rack to rack connectivity. Now, this is just half of the equation. What makes our products truly intelligent is our software defined architecture and Cosmos. Cosmos stands for our connectivity system management and optimization software that allows our customers to have comprehensive monitoring, fleet diagnostic, and fleet management across their AI infrastructure. Cosmos also has multiple layers to it, the embedded software piece, which our customers and partners can modify, and then the management interfaces and APIs that go on top of it, allowing them to orchestrate and manage their racks uh, in the AI infrastructure era. Now, our approach to products has always been open standards, and we are rooted in a couple of key protocols. PCI Express for within the rack and server type of connectivity, CXL for resolving memory bottlenecks, Ethernet for traditional scale-out networking, UA Link for very purpose-built, high-bandwidth, low-latency scale-up fabric, and NV Link Fusion that Astera Labs has been a part of. We are still a young company, but growing really fast. So at this point, we have more than seven R&D centers across the world with most recent openings in Vietnam, Singapore, Irvine, and uh, Seattle. All right, so why are we so focused on this rack scale vision? We believe that we are in a very pivotal moment in the industry. There is a tremendous shift going on between AI infrastructure 1.0 to something called, I think my slide froze, AI infrastructure 2.0. All right. So let me explain what this means and why it matters. With AI infrastructure 1.0, the, the server was the unit of compute. You could put together a handful of GPUs, maybe four, maybe eight, and run your simple AI workloads. When companies needed more computational power, they could connect these servers together using traditional scale-out networking and run these models. That worked perfectly fine when these models were small and less complex. Now we are in a completely different paradigm shift where we have something called AI infrastructure 2.0. The entire rack has to operate as a high-performance computing system. We are putting together clusters of 32, 64, 128, hundreds of GPUs all within a rack connected using high bandwidth, low latency AI fabrics. The rack itself now is the new unit of compute. So all this is uh, not just theory. Our customers are actually deploying these rack scale architectures because these models have simply outgrown what a server could handle. So when you're connecting these hundreds of thousands of GPUs together, the entire architecture has to think and operate at a rack scale, not at a server scale. And this is where Astera Labs is actually anchoring the foundation of an open rack scale architecture. So while other companies are focused on proprietary closed ecosystems, we are at the forefront leading this foundation. And our 
entire rack scale vision is centered around four key principles. The first one, support for open standards. Second, intelligent software. Third, multi-protocols. And fourth, our overall purpose-built product portfolio. So at the foundation of it, we have the Aries Smart PCI retimers that were at the forefront of AI infrastructure 1.0 rollout and have seen the, the issues with signal integrity when you start putting so many accelerators and complex connectors within a rack. Signal integrity is mission critical. We have Taurus Smart DSP retimers, which is our Ethernet product portfolio that scales from 100 gig to 800 gig, supporting scale-out networking. We have Leo CXL smart memory controllers that allow for memory expansion and memory pooling so that GPUs can use memories more efficiently. And last but not the least, our highest ramping product in the history of Astera Labs, Scorpio AI fabric switches. These are intelligent fabric connectivity platforms that orchestrate communications between multi-accelerator systems. Uh, so now as I move towards you know, the details of these products and portfolio offerings, I would like to quickly summarize that the reason we are doing this is because our end customers are looking for multiple vendor flexibility and an open ecosystem. So they can pick whichever XPU or CPU they want to use. They can pick any kind of supply chain vendor for their ecosystem, or even any type of a deployment architecture that they care about, instead of being locked into something that's proprietary and closed. So I will quickly cover all the products that we have in our ecosystem offering. So at the foundation, as I mentioned, we have Aries and Taurus PCI retimers. These retimers um, have been deployed in the market for past six years. And PCI Gen 4 and Gen 5 have been in production in the AI Infra 1.0 rollout, shipping in millions of units across all major hyperscalers. We were also the leading vendor to announce PCI 6 retimers that have already been shipping in high volume production, again, at uh, multiple hyperscalers, while our competitors are still at early evaluation stage. We have the Ethernet retimer product offering for, from all the way to 100 gig to 800 gig. That's in the traditional uh, scale out side of things. And all of these retimers are also available in cab cable module form factors that we partner with cable vendors for to integrate inside active electrical cables for within the rack and rack to rack connectivity. Again, our approach here is very unique and different, which is to enable a supply chain ecosystem where our end customers can have multiple options on their table, whether they want to go with somebody that fits better in their ecosystem or they want to have a single reference design that works for all instead of locking them with just one singular model. This year, we announced a product called Aries PCI Smart Gearbox. And this is, again, a very purpose-built product to bridge the data rate mismatch between uh, the cutting edge PCI 6 products that are coming out, as well as the old uh, traditional established PCI 5 ecosystem without losing any data throughput. So one of the use cases we are seeing here is better utilize PCI lanes for Gen 6 products, such as XPUs and then network them out to, um, you know, by 16, more data, data rate, less, more lanes, less data rate. And then this product is available in two form factors, a smaller one, eight lane to a 16 lane, and a bigger one, two eight lanes to a two 16 lanes. Last but not the least are Scorpio AI fabric switches. These were, again, architected from the ground up to service unique AI workloads and applications. P-Series, for example, is particularly servicing the mixed AI head node traffic between uh, GPU to switch, switch to SSD, switch to NIC, whereas the X series is a very unique product, larger lane counts servicing the back and bottleneck for AI scale up use case. So with that, I will hand off for the rest of the presentation to Chris Blackburn. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Anshul. Uh, <clears throat> Now that Anshul has, has taken you through the product portfolio from Astera Labs, we wanted to showcase how those products get used in the applications that our customers are building and that you all in the industry are working to, to bring together. 
Uh, so in, in our booth at booth B33, you'll see an example of what we call the open rack. So we see a lot of rack scale architectures on the market today, and they're all proprietary. We wanted to take a step towards a vision that showcases how all of our products and your products can come together in an ecosystem to build an open rack standard. Now, we, we absolutely understand that things will be customized. The end customers want to put their own flavor on things. But the reality is that we're solving the same problem as an industry many times over. So uh, we're, when we come together and we think about these commonalities, right? we wanted to show a vision on how those things connect. So, so in the booth, if you take a look at the rack, we showcase an example or a reference platform for an XPU tray. Uh, this typically has the XPUs, maybe a CPU, and then all of your endpoints, uh, such as memory, scale out NICs, uh, and, and potentially switches and storage. And then the scale-up switch platform, uh, which showcases our Scorpio X series product, this is uh, really connecting all of the XPUs together into a, a, a scale-up fabric within the rack. So both of these boxes uh, and the rack are on display at our booth, and we encourage you to come by and, and take a look. The other thing that to mention here is the, is the protocols. Right? There's a variety of protocols being discussed. So whether it's scale up, scale out, uh, PCIe, CXL, right? there's a lot of industry effort in these various protocols and industry standards that, that bring this together. So we want to stress the importance of a healthy ecosystem and that we all collaborate across these protocols. Let's take a little bit deeper dive into each of these reference platforms and showcase where the Astera Labs products fit. So if we start on the left-hand side of the screen, we'll take a look at the XPU platform. The Ares uh, PCIe and, and CXL retimers and the Taurus Ethernet smart retimers in the rear of the system before the backplane connectors. And then you'll see the, the larger packages there are representative of the XPUs. And then from those accelerator boards, uh, are typically cabled to a PCIe switchboard. You'll see uh, our, our Scorpio uh, P-Series product connecting SSDs, the scale-out NIC, the CPU, and the GPU. And then if we move to the, the left-hand side, you'll see the compute and memory complex, the CPU motherboard and uh, DCMHS form factor uh, connecting with CXL memory with our Leo uh, memory controller and also our Ares gearbox, where you, you have a situation where you may have a CPU uh, with, say, a by 8 Gen 6 that needs to translate to a by 16 Gen 5. Uh, off to the, the right-hand side, if you take a look at the scale-up switch, this is our Scorpio X series uh, scale-up switch. And then, again, the same retimer devices uh, uh, before the backplane. Uh, this is just a representative example and, again, a starting point for the industry to think how these, these platforms can, can come together. Uh, you know, there we showcased how the products fit down on boards. Uh, oftentimes, these, mo these servers are modular. We put down our, our devices, our retimers and switches on motherboards or big boards. Uh, one of the things we wanted to highlight and share with you all is this trend towards modularity and serviceability. Uh, as these server designs evolve, we see a lot of different modules being developed with our devices. Uh, and we just wanted to showcase a few of these examples where you can integrate either an Ares retimer or a Scorpio switch into these modules that have different connectivity options. So whether it's card edge connectivity, mezzanine connectivity, backplane, near chip, Again, we see this, this larger trend towards server modularity, and building and developing these modules enables the retimers to be uh, easily added to systems uh, and gives the system architectures, uh, architects and designers that flexibility of incorporating the retimer or you know, creating a passive link if needed. So to, to wrap up, I uh, just wanted to give you guys an idea of some of the engagement that Astera Labs has at the OCP show. Uh, we have uh, six different demos. So come by the booth. You can see the rack that we talked about earlier. Uh, we have an active cable backplane, uh, PCIe 6 fabric connecting up many uh, industry devices, SSDs, GPUs, our switches uh, at PCIe Gen 6, uh, some 200 gig per lane uh, Ethernet cabling. Uh, we have a chat bot with CXL memory uh, for inference and some rack management and OpenBMC demos. 
uh, along with this talk, we do have some, some other talks. I'll be talking later today at uh, 3.30 on the active cable backplane. And then Ahmad and Chris have a variety of talks at, at VESH uh, on security. So uh, we welcome you all to come, come see us there at Labs. Stop by the booth. Uh, Anshal and I will hang out here for a little bit. If anybody has questions, come see us over to the side. Uh, we appreciate everybody's time. Thank you.